What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we'll be going over the overall strongest character ranking from the Game with JP website. Um, they've actually made a tier list here, and this is basically a Japanese tier list. So we'll be going over the tier list, and basically my thoughts on it, and where I feel like units should be replaced. Because um, there's a lot of like questionable decisions in this tier list that we will go over when we actually uh, hop in, but uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing for this video. Um, before we actually hop in though, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing. We are on the road to 10k subscribers, and at the time of recording this video, I'm at 8.8k subscribers on the YouTube channel. Turn on post notifications if you want to stay up to date with anything 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross related. And with that out of the way, let's hop into the video. Alright, so I'll zoom in the page a little bit just so we can see a little better. Um, we have the overall strongest character ranking from the SSS tier all the way to the D tier here. And this is going to be all SSRs in Grand Cross. So, a lot to go over, man. But the thing is, I would say, okay, first thing that I noticed was why is Green Escanor so high? Like, why, like why is Green Escanor? Okay, I understand Green Escanor is really good. And by the way, this is an overall strongest character ranking, right? So this is like, I assume overall meaning PvE, PvP, um, basically all areas of the game, right? Green Essener, I understand is a very good unit for PvP, PvE content as just like a nuker, whatever the case. In PvP, he is not viable at all. He is just not viable. Like, he actually just isn't, man. Um, I don't think uh, Athena and Essener are on the same level. I don't think Blue Droll and Essener are on the same level. I don't, I honestly, like, Green Merlin is definitely better than Green Essener at this point in the game right um there's like a lot of other units i'd say too even like down or down here red help room if you guys d didn't watch the uh or if you guys watched my cc video right i actually mentioned how red help room has the lowest cc in the entire game of any ssr unit and my guy is an s tier he's an s tier and i understand he has petrify and gauge reduction um but overall like if you're using him for pvp he's just gonna lose and in pve content you can't really petrify many enemies anymore really like there's not uh like a lot of like bosses you can cheese with that like there's only like a few in like training dungeon and that's like the the only case right i don't think help should be in s tier he should be like down here and it's an atrocity an atrocity that green jericho is in a tier how is Green Jericho in A tier when she should be at least in the S tier? Because she has viability in PvP and somewhat, you know what I mean, on a crit team. She's very good in PvE, very, really good DPS damage. Definitely better than Green Essnor in my opinion, um, as a green unit. That's crazy, man. I'm actually just shocked. Um, blue Nunchuck Bond higher than Green Jericho. Okay. Oh, okay, I understand Red Demon, but uh, I don't know, man. That's that's a stretch. And even, even this Deanne, bro. M Red Matrona Dian higher than Red uh, Green Jericho, bro. That is actually insane. I am like shocked. Like there are some really questionable things on this list. Um, what else do we have here that's kind of questionable? I mean, Blue Demon Meliodas, he has viability like a little bit. I mean, in like farming and stuff, so we'll give him that, I guess. But I don't really know. That's kind of a stretch. Um, Roxy being this high, I don't know if she should be really this high. I mean, human in PvE is pretty good. PvP, not very much, even after Arthur. I don't think Arthur should be S tier either. I feel like he, even after coming out, he doesn't look too impressive, so probably A plus or A, um, in my opinion. Belion is higher than Green Jericho! Uh, bro, I'm just not gonna take this. I'm actually just not gonna take it. Belion! Blue Belion! Better than Camilla. I honestly think Camilla is better than Blue Bellion because she has stun and uh, what's it called? Rupture AoE, I think. Or no, Life Seal. Life Seal AoE and, and the thing, right? I, I don't know. Blue Elaine, should I feel, I feel, should at least be here because of her buff card um, for Red Demon and stuff, right? Um, she doesn't have viability in PvP or anything, but you know, her buff card's very nice. Um, Fraudrin should not be this high as either because he has no uses. Um, the guy is like top like or bottom 30 in the game for cc so he is not lccing anyone in pvp and he has no use in pve so he should not be an a plus i don't know why this man is an a plus tier um i understand my my is a fine uh, spot there red merlin's a little too high i think as well she's kind of fallen off um i don't think she is this high on the tier list man if anything um I don't know. I, okay, I understand the drills, and I understand Red Molasco being this high. That's very nice. Glocks, though, I don't know if she's S+. Plus. Um, by the way, I think I agree with uh, all the top slots here. I think I agree with this. I feel like Merlin might actually be an SSS tier, though, because um, of how she like is after Unknown Race buff. 
um, but I'm not too sure. I would definitely say though she is at least SS uh, or above. All these units I would say are worthy of the SS um, plus, but I feel like Lost Vein might be put down to about here, I think. Um, because he has fallen off. He's only really good as a CC unit in PvP. In PvE, he does clear all the content, which is very good. But other than that, I don't think he's going to be the best, you know, option for you. Uh, I'd, I'd say Festival King is honestly better. And he has a little bit better viability in PvP. Um, he's also higher CC than Lost Vein as well. So you could actually just run him instead of Lost Vein Meliodas, right? Um, and just have a better CC backline. But, um, yeah, no, that's pretty, that's fine, I think. Um, let's see what else is uh, right here. I mean, okay red king above green Jericho. I still don't understand that um, And the thing is too, blue Molascula I am satisfied with her being an A because I don't think she's as good as much units up here She's definitely better in Frodrin though. She's definitely better in Belion. Definitely better in red king um, but other than that, like, I don't know, Matrona at the end, definitely better than Matrona at the end, better than Slater, yeah, okay, never mind, actually, Melasia should probably be up here, bro, <laughs> she, she, she should actually be up here, um, but yeah, there's some questionable units up here, Red King, only used in PvP, and has no use anymore, so, useless, um, <laughs> Green Lilia, only used in PvP, um, <laughs> no one uses Lilia anymore, so, unfortunately, I don't think she's gonna be very good, uh, I don't know, man, this is, this is very questionable, Blue Helbram in B tier, he should be in like D tier. Oh my, this is crazy, bro. Oh, Milim should easily be D tier. Unfortunately, she is not very good. Um, I don't know, man. They put a lot of units, and and they actually put SR units on this too. So it's not even just an SSR or SR unit tier list. Like there's SR units that they put higher than units down here. Like SR Slater better than Blue Giant Dian. SR Slater better than what? Blue Gother, even Red Esterosa. That's crazy, bro. Red SR Elizabeth better than what? I don't even know. Like, they, bro, I, I just, I'm actually shocked. I'm actually shocked. Um, it's crazy, man. The, the Japanese players, I guess they value, like, um, units like the one Essenor, a big Unga Bunga damage. Um, they value big, you know, green Gother, rank ups, attack related stats buffs. Um, they don't really value, I think, single target DPS as much, though, because green Jericho should be higher, um, if anything. Blue Molasula, I think she's like, as, as I said, I feel she would probably be here. Um, is there a, any other questionable decisions here? I can't really see. Red Demon Meliodas isn't, I don't think he's that high either. Um, I respect the Red Giant DM placement though. I think that's accurate. Um, yeah, because she works in uh, PvE and PvP for the uh, Giant damage, so that's pretty good. Um, I think that's about it. I don't think Green Derry should be this high. Maybe A+. Plus. Yeah, man, that's basically it for the tier list. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of the JP tier list. I just wanted to rant about it because there's some, like, actual question questionable units, man. Like, how are you going to put Green Esmeralda in S+, plus when Green Jericho exists and is an A? I don't know, man. That's crazy. But um, let me guys, uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the tier list. Um, let me know if I missed any units here that were questionable or were in the wrong places here on the tier list. Um, but that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.